Welcome to the Cool English Podcast, where I bring you English vocab, culture, pronunciation, and much more. Hello, I'm John, your host and the creator of Cool English. Whether you're learning or teaching English, join us for a fun and informative journey. Every week, we cover a range of topics to help students and teachers of all ages. So sit back, relax, and enjoy this week's episode. Hello. Today, we're going to be talking about a great set of vocab. We're going to be starting a set of vocab, but the basic parts of a car. Sometimes you want to rent a car or buy a car. It's really important we understand the basic aspects and the different parts of it. There are common in movies and TV shows that might even talk about these. So there are three sets, easy, medium, and hard, each with 10 words. Today, we'll go over the first set, easy. Let's begin. The first word we have is the thing we press to slow down or stop the car. And this is called the brake or the brake pedal. And we push the brake or the brake pedal to slow down or stop the car. Next, we have the thing we press to accelerate or move the car forward. And this is called the gas pedal or the gas. We say, Hit the gas, and it means to make the car accelerate or go forward. After that, we have the container that holds the car's fuel. And this is called the gas tank. So when you rent a car, it's good to know what side of the car is the gas tank on, or how do I open the gas tank? Next, we have the lights at the front of the car. If it's nighttime or dark outside, we need to turn on the headlights. So the headlights are the lights, the main lights in the front of the car to help you see at night. Then we have the cover or the engine area of the car. Sometimes you might need to check if you have the right fluids in the car, the right amount of fluids like oil or water. And we would say, hey, open the hood of the car or pop the hood. And the hood is this front cover for the engine and internal parts of the car. Next, we have the safety harness we wear to keep the car's occupants secure. This is called a seat belt. So by law, we need to wear a seat belt when driving a car. Next, we have the rubber parts that are in direct contact with the road. These are called tires. You normally have four tires on a car and they're filled with air. You might get a flat tire if you run over a nail or something sharp. And a flat tire, you need to change the tire or put more air in it. Next, we have the storage area at the back of the car. So this is where you might put your luggage when you arrive at the airport or your groceries. We call this the trunk. So open the trunk and put the bags in. Next, we have the long lever that is used to show the direction of a turn. And we call this the turn signal or blinker. And if you want to turn left or turn right, we need to use the turn signal or blinker. Finally, we have the blades that move across the windshield to remove rain, snow, or dirt. And these are called the windshield wipers. And you might need to know how do you turn on the wipers in your car? Okay, let's go back and review. So the 10 words for the easy section of basic car parts are brake pedal, gas pedal, gas tank, headlights, hood, seat belt, tires, trunk, turn signal or blinker, wipers. That's it. Thanks so much for listening to the first part of the basic car parts. Stay tuned for next week for part two. And don't forget to check out the full activity with multiple choice, definition games, video clips, diagram labeling, open questions, slot machine game, 
and even an autocorrecting test at coolenglish.net. Have a great week. Do you want to learn English? Cool English. English. Do you want to learn cool English? Cool English, dude. English.